These are the 20 most embarrassing NHL moments of all time. And starting at number 20, Steven Stamkos was all geared up for a penalty shot. Oh boy, look out for the spin move. That was until he slipped on a banana and crashed to the ice. Is this dude for real? What a klutz. When he went down, he obviously lost his edge. Unfortunately, Stamkos wasn't able to stay on his feet long enough to get a shot off. Unlike Daniel Sedin, who at least managed to take the shot. At play number 19, instead of using a hockey stick, Sedin busted out a magic wand and somehow missed the wide open net. Daniel Sedin with an empty net. Daniel, my man, you might want to work on that accuracy and maybe take Craig Smith with you. Because during moment number 18, Smith attempts to roof the puck top shelf. They're saying it went up and over the net. It didn't go in the goal. But gets a little too overzealous. He'll be sure to get some razzing from the boys in the locker room after that debacle. Also likely to get some teasing from teammates and fans alike is Patrick Lane. In play 17, after scoring on his own net, Lane wants nothing more but to run and hide. Now for Letestu. Letestu wide, steps into a shot. Big rebound! Patrick Lane put it in his own net. But hey, at least he didn't cry. Shooting and scoring on your own net is humiliating. But throwing the puck in your own net might be even more embarrassing. Just like in moment number 16, Dmitry Orlov was defending in front when he tried to swat the puck and put it in the back of the net. Oy vey. And he just puts it right into the net. Although certainly unintentional, Orlov was feeling a great deal of shame after that blunder. Next up at moment 15, Andrew Peak, normally a very capable skater, slips and slides all over the ice, much to the crowd's delight. It doesn't take much to whip a hockey crowd into a frenzy. You can see those little buttons there that pop off the blade, and as he got to the bench... <laughs> Here, Flyers fans get a kick off the whiff of Brad Marchand. Have a look at moment 14. Brad Marchand must score to keep the game going. Marshan over skates the puck. He touched it though with his stick. What's Marshan, mortified by the situation, flew down the tunnel as quickly as possible. What a goofball. The next embarrassing moment went down at a Rangers game. Check this out at number 13. Anderson was our guy, and man, did he have a rough fall before the game even began. The spotlight was on him as he crashed and burned. Speaking of rough fails, this epic goalie spill will sure go down in history. It made our list at moment number 12. David Riddick was knocked down like a bowling pin after jumping for the puck. Timber! Moving from one embarrassing goalie fail to another, next we see Tuca with a decision he will soon regret. It's moment number 11. Rask leaves the net for the bench. Only problem is, the game is tied. Final minute, tied. third period. I don't know why Tuca Rask was her net. Yeah, he, why did he go to the bench? Yikes, how do you forget the score, Tuca? That was pretty ridiculous, but not as terrible as Steve Mason's attempt to stop this puck. Tip by Chimera gets the puck, he deeply scores! In our 10th play, we are simply abashed. Perhaps Steve had a pizza on his mind and lost focus. We're not really sure, but the embarrassment has got to be sky high. That horrendous goal reminded us a lot of the travesties that occurred with other goalies around the league. Getting aside, Tosco thinks he has that, and it just scoots to his left. Moment number nine. Vesa Toskala looked terrified as he saw the tumbling muffin head his way. Panic set in, and the results were catastrophic. And that's nothing compared to moment number eight. Jonathan Quick led in his award winner by attempting to clear the puck. Chip and chase and swing and a miss. Things didn't go as planned, and Jonathan quickly realized he was going to be on SportsCenter's not top 10 list. Oops. Continuing with embarrassing goalies at number seven. Tonight from our Coca-Cola Super Slow Mo, how about this puck? Scott Darling left his crease to make an incredibly foolish play. Bouncing, rolling, goes off the heel of his stick. Not sure if he looked up first to see. It's plays like that which make a man want to retire. Next up is moment number six. That's scary, isn't it? A lot of people stop breathing on the Ducks bench. Set him. Oh! We even see the incredible Martin Brodeur with a bewildering play. Holy smokes, that was awful. Are there any other goalie plays that could be more embarrassing than that mistake? There is just one. Number five on our list. It's the goalie for the Detroit Red Wings, Nijelkovic. Thought was there anyway, the puck was going wide. Maybe just let that one go wide who has the cream of the crop for embarrassing goalie moments. That was an ugly play for sure, but it doesn't top this dandy from Patrick Berglund. Check out moment number four. Deep spot, Berglund again, and he lost his footing. 
Berglund was in his prime shooting position, but wound up looking like a clown as he fell flat on his face. He couldn't help but blush a little after that one. How's your nose, buddy? Luckily, that misfire didn't cost his team much, unlike Dan Boyle's brutal play. And real quick, if you're liking this style of video, make sure to subscribe. We'll be covering every hockey moment just like this. The way it's centered, the abs come up ice. O'Reilly chasing it down. But Murray there. Oh, and then it's in the net. The game is over. With the third most embarrassing moment ever, Boyle managed to score a rather disturbing goal. All Dan could do was lower his head in shame. You feel bad for a guy like Dan who cost his team the game. It will be hard to top that train wreck, but this next scene is simply intolerable. The second most embarrassing moment occurs when Dion Phaneuf wanted to drop the gloves, but got dropped himself. The irony was so incredibly blissful. <laughs> what could we possibly have in store for you after a play like that? And finally, the most embarrassing moment of all time is brought to you by your boy, Patrick Steffen. This dude misses the wide open net with nobody around him. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Patrick Steffen, you should be embarrassed for what you just did. That does not belong in the National Hockey League. And to make matters worse, well, you can watch and see what happens. And again, another beautiful uh, goal by Alex Gimsky. He makes the move on Turco and beats him cleanly. Talk about a tragedy unlike any other in the history of the NHL. All we can say is wow. See you next time.